Hi, good morning everybody. How are you today? Um, the sun is shining and um, I didn't sleep very well. I got up about 6 a.m. Went to bed about 2.30 or 3 in the morning. So I'll pay for it later. God, I keep checking on the news. Um, it's not particularly a good idea and I just couldn't particularly put my phone away so I kept looking on the news and on Twitter the world is doom and gloom and I'm like ah at 3 a.m. so I got up about 7 and I'm like oh I'm gonna go on the phone again no I wasn't so I put my eye mask on and then um take out my gummy shield and then I decided to just sleep freely so I slept for about another hour maybe Good morning everybody. Hi Alin, hi Margaret, hi Rin, hi Alison, hi Maria. Um, I think I'm slightly early, like three minutes, and um, today we're going to do something different. Um, dragonfly um, flies, different, see how it goes with our time frame, and uh, maybe little flowers that we can find on the side of the road. And they cheer me up because um, when I go for a walk, I just kept looking down. What can I see? That's a good thing about my Twitter. Um, it keeps feeding me like um, wildflower society. Um, so it's quite, really nice to um, see others appreciating little things like that as well. Um, so we've got another two minutes. Um, we're going to go for... Um, like wishy-washy color again because it's kind of spring and again I love purple and blue but feel free to change into any colors that you like um, you know and um, we're not creating anything like masterpiece or anything and I'm not claimed to be an expert in watercolor um, but I find the process of doing anything related to art even just lay down this one color or drop a few colors onto the page is, is relaxing so um, I thought I want to share and hopefully um, you guys might be able to appreciate the process of creating something remotely okay, but um, it's not about the results, it's about what are we doing, okay? So um, I'm going to switch the screen now and show you on my wall, um, you know, what we've been doing for the past 14 days. We've done it for 14 days, guys. I can't believe it okay so it was like if you haven't been here before you can go back to catch up on my I don't know album photo I think album photo video you know what Facebook they're just trying to make it difficult to to find things and I also have them on um, YouTube as well oh my god my lips are so dry sorry let's switch the screen now don't look at my face anymore. okay right so um, this is um, what we've been doing, okay? Ooh, right. Okay. Whee! Let me just... Um, I don't want to take the phone off my... Um, look. Apart from that dark one. That one, I just go crazy and painted them myself. So we did the daffodils the other day. And then that was the yesterday one. And then that was the one before... I don't know if um, blue tack will transfer the grease onto the front of the paper. You guys know. I don't know. So, look, we've done a lot. And then the wreath the day before as well. Okay. Whee! Okay, right. I think it's probably 11 o'clock now, you think? And my pathetic piece of paper but I'm gonna use it anyway and um, if your paper's gone wrinkle up like that um, actually before using you can mix it with water very very gently and then on the other side as well and then put two pieces of paper um, ideally acid free on either side and then put it in between a very heavy book and then, forget about it for a while. We just use the gravity of the earth to, um, you know, 
I don't know why my camera is slightly angled and I don't know how to adjust it, which is very annoying. Um, I need to do something with my um, tripod situation. Okay, right. Um, let's get going. So, we are going for um, wishy-washy color again, okay? I had a try last night to see if it's gonna work because I'm trying to think what else we can do. So this is gonna be something that we're gonna do, okay? Um, something, but I try to add some line work and it ain't working, it's too cartoony. So we're just gonna leave it without line work. But if you like line works, I would suggest you to do it bigger and then go for a very fine brush or felt tip pen to add the details of your wings, okay? because um, dragonfly wings, um, their cells, the veins are very complicated. There are lots of um, like organic um, hexagon, octagon shapes in between the cells. So, um, you know, that's what we're gonna be doing. And then something I'm gonna try to paint off the cuff because I can't think of what to do, but I do like forget-me-not. So we're gonna try to do forget-me-nots today, okay? Right. Is it the leg of my thingy? <clears throat> it's a slightly wonky. Right. Let's do this. Hi, Julia. Thank you for joining me. Um, for dragonfly, you can use slightly bigger brush if you have any. If not, just use the same one and then just keep with the same scales that we're going, okay? I'm going for pink. You can go any color, guys. Think about the color combination before you go ahead and then um, go for it, okay? I'm gonna go for pink, blue, green, purple. Just activating my old paint. Stingy! Okay, right. Whoops, there's a piece of paper, little tiny scrap in my, in my watercolor. Right, okay. Hi Gwen. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. Um, since you just come in, I'm going to show you what we'll be doing. Whee! Okay, that's what we'll be doing. Um, watercolor dragonflies. Let's do like a live size. Just imagine, you know, we're capturing this. But it's a wishy-washy kind of like a pattern type of um, paint rather than um, realistic botanical insect painting, okay? Hi Denise, how are you? Are you gonna go out for a run today? Um, I've been doing for the past six days so I don't know if I want to go again today okay I don't know so right I'm just gonna go for purple again but very wishy-washy um, at this point some people might prefer painting in um, plain water and then you drop in lots of different colors into the um, paper actually before we go into the paper I'm going to do a quick drawing of the wings so ideally look up the picture of the um, dragonfly um, and then look how the wings are. But mine's slightly cartoony. I tried my best last night to get the right shape of the wings, but I can't. So if you can do better, please do so, okay? So I'm just imagining I'm gonna do wing first because body is easier, but I'm gonna leave a little bit gap for the body. Actually, the wings coming out right at the back of the body. Um, so if you do, like that it's got two sets of wings and down something along that line okay like that okay so some of you might be more obsessed with dragonfly than me and you might see it, how it goes better and then after that we're going to come in with the body Okay, that's like a three section roughly. So that's like a, um, a long oval, okay? And then the next one is just kind of like long tail. The tail is almost as long as the wings, okay? And then the head, just imagine there's like a big bulgy eyes, okay? And then we're gonna round it off here. 
Okay, so and that's like a um, a pair of legs from the front and then from the joint between their eyes. And one is around the middle of their body actually. So you can do like that or just ignore it. Okay, so um, hi guys, welcome to my paint along and let's go for it. We just kind of like do a roughly sketch of the dragonfly and we're gonna go for um, wishy-washy color first to lay it down um, the wings okay I might need more water actually because I'm gonna go for life-size kind of thing but um, by all means this is not exact botanical insect biological painting okay it's just to relax us and to just let it go enjoy the process okay you can paint it straightforward or sideways. I'm going to go sideways just because it's easier for my, where I am here. Okay? So, um, like so. Okay? Keep the paint wet still because we're going to come in in a minute. like that okay and while the paint's still wet just choose a, um, another color that go with it and then drop on the corner or at the edge just for fun there's no right or wrong here so just go for it guys life's too short oh that's way too um, too dark but you know what it doesn't matter you can pick it out with the clean damp brush Okay, or if it's way, way too strong, you can um, use a drier brush, okay? Because we want it to be translucent, because um, that's what um, dragonfly wings. I'm going to go bigger now because I make a boo-boo out of my, my wings. So I'm going to have to go bigger because the edges are not quite neat. You know what? doesn't matter. And press it down to the piece of paper squash your brush down my brush is clean and damp just damp okay and then just press it down so I pick up just mopping the paint up again okay because we want it to be wishy-washy rather than hi guys how you doing and then we're gonna go back to the lower wing okay lower wings lower sets of wing Make sure your paint's still nice and wet because we want that to um, help us move. Um, the next layer of splotch that we're going to drop, okay? Um, we, you can still keep with the same color or different color, doesn't matter. It's for fun. It's not realistic here. Anyone can join in. We all can do it. See, I get too excited with my dark color again, so I'm just going to have to dab it off. I make my um, self, you know, more hard work, get my work cut out. <laughs> but if that's what you like, um, that's fine, okay? And I accidentally touched the upper wing to the bottom wing, but doesn't matter. That might be a nice charm, and that's a characteristic of watercolor, okay? And then I'm going to move on. And leave that to dry for a bit okay um, and we can go to the next set of wings okay so I'm gonna go for super super pink maybe um, I don't like that bit it's like um, creased for my paper how very annoying I'm gonna tear it into pieces Living dangerously. Ah! <laughs> I picked up some color from that page. Right. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. That's, that's, ooh, I hate it. Anyway, I'm going to use it anyway. Maybe I'll use it. For, yeah, I'll use it. Okay, right. Next. Hi, Lindy. Hi, Brian. Hi, Christine. Hi Chantel, hi Pam, 
Okay, thanks for joining me. Now we're gonna go pink and I'm gonna go flying this way now. So very, very wishy-washy. Um, and if you're not sure about this, you know, shape of the wings, you can easily um, use a bit of pencil tracing first, okay? Um, don't stress about it. There's no right or wrong here. And um, it's all about relaxing. So painting with me, you shouldn't be stressed out because that is not the point um, for sure. Not for today or not for the um, paint along because um, we don't want to um, have a masterpiece here, okay? Um, while I'm here in pink, I'm going to go in with the lowest wings. If you can do a better job with the lower wings, please do so. I am struggling with the shape of the, the dragonfly wings. So feel free. And I'm gonna use green, oh no, blue. <laughs> and don't forget, you can always test on a piece of paper first, okay? With your, um, I just um, paint my wall with my greens. Make sure the strength that you want is correct and all that. Test it on a little piece of paper. Okay. Okay, that's bearable. Let's go before the paint um, dry on us. Okay, so just let it go in and let the paint work itself into your wings. And enjoy. And if your paint's like, you know, dried already, go in with a damp brush, not wet like mine. And just blend it in. And if you want it to be more translucent, just press it harder to absorb the paint on back onto your brush, okay? But don't rub too hard because um, the surface of paper may be piling up okay that's cute yeah oh no now that I stand well look back move the project out and look back and it looks a bit like won't care you can even do like random dots as well okay no no rules here you're allowed to be free. Okay. Just gonna gently ease it out a bit. It's too strong for me. I know that when it dries, it's gonna be paler anyway, but um, my aim today is um, to be a bit wishy-washy. We like wishy-washy today. Okay, cute. Hi, good morning, Jane. Good morning, side. We're doing dragonflies today. Okay, so, um, you know what? That would even be lovely and paint lots of flowers around it. Yeah, it's okay. I think that wings set, set to wings are more successful. That's a bit cartoony, but I'm not gonna fix it now. Hi, Julie. Um, we're going to do dragonfly wings, okay? So we're going to leave it to dry and then we're going to come back to do the body because we don't want the other, you know, the body colour to go into the, to our wings. Okay, team. Next. Oh, I haven't got any more, more paper. Oh, I have, of course. What am I saying? I'm a hoarder. Right. Next is... I'm going to do some kind of um, small flowers, okay? So, have you seen Forget Me Not out? I just saw some just sprouting out and the tiny, tiny blue flowers are absolutely adorable and it's one of my mum's favourite flowers. 
Hi Joanne, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Okay, so um, it's a cluster of little tiny tiny blue flowers. It's almost the same blue as our blue bells that we've done, a bit bluer, you know, or cornflower blue. So we're gonna add a bit more blue to our purple. Basically it's purpley blue. And even some petals of um, some some certain forget-me-not has got pink into it as well. Okay, so um, let's do this. Okay, so the little forget-me-not flower has got five point petals. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Something like that, okay? And it's just made up a clutter of them about that size. We're going to do big first because, um, you know, you can you can do smalls if you like to, but I'm going to do slightly bigger so you guys can see it too, okay? And then um, don't forget that all the flowers not facing at you, so we need to variate the... Um, I'm just looking at the real photos right now. Um, or, you know, you can start thinking, well, that's going to be the center of the flower. And then um, go sideways. And then that smaller petals, just to show you that um, it's looking that way. Okay? And then next, you can add a little bit of center of the flowers to ground you. Okay? And... Something like that. I'm going to make that up into a little cluster, okay? And then um, and then you can paint one underneath the other flower as well, okay? And then there's there are stems coming down. Okay? And then we might have one here, another cluster of flower. Okay, and um, forget me not, some um, leaves are absolutely super cute. So we're going to go just long and pointy. And we have done this particular um, leaf shapes before. So it shouldn't be much a problem. Okay, and then like so. Okay, so that's going to be um, my rough composition that I'm going to go for. And um, let's see how it goes from there. Or if you want to, you can paint lots and lots and cover the page with forget-me-nots, okay? Let's see how I go because um, I wasn't planned this one before. Um, so I haven't got the here's what I made earlier type of paint for you to show you. So I'm going to go for this blue. And I already have like a pool of light purple there, so that's perfect. <gasps> My blue is running out and this is my favorite. I went on um, an art shop website last night and add, added loads onto the basket and then I freaked out. I'm like, mm, do I need this? Look at this. I already got enough paint. So I just shut the page down. <laughs> add the basket. Don't know. I think it's done something to my brain when you go on shopping. I'm gonna test it on my page first, as usual. I think that's way too purple. How are our dragonfly wings doing? I'm gonna add more blue. I might just keep the blue on this corner of my palette and then when I need it to I can pick dip up the purple yeah cute okay yeah Jane it's the water dropper or you can use like an old eye drop or something it's really handy for when you have dirty brush around so then your water don't get too muddy and um, I have two pots one for cleaning brushes and one to keep it clean and that goes with my um, face art as well and some people even have three pot system I um I haven't gone that far yet <laughs> okay right um, let's do this Ooh, I'm scared don't be scared Mona just um and go <laughs> Okay, so again, um, we test it on a piece of paper first to make sure your paint is water, watery enough with your sheet. 
I think I have done something to this set of my wallpaper because even my A4 paper that stays in the same book as watercolor patch, it's got that um, wrinkle. So I have a wrinkly paper. <laughs> Hi, Amarita. Hi, Marlene. <laughs> okay, right. We're going to do little tiny forget-me-nots, okay? So, um, just... It doesn't have to be botanically corrected, okay, guys? Not today. But if you want to, later in life, and you think, right, this is your, your, your jam, then by all means, go for it. And if you want to be particularly um, in details with this kind of thing, um, I would recommend that paint them a lot bigger because then you can add more details like shading and veins of the flowers and the details of the pollens and um, necktie and all that kind of stuff, okay? So, I'm going to put them, because it's like a small cluster of flowers, so I'm going to put them um, together in a minute, but I need to paint, I don't want them to touch each other so much for the time being, okay? And again, this one, the petals is on, on this side smaller, Okay, just to make them all looking at different angles. That's what I'm trying to say. So again, it's wishy-washy because then you can add shading in later. Okay. Can you see that one is totally looking that way? Okay. So don't let them touch each other yet. Don't let them touch each other. Okay. Um, la 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 la. Next. Okay. I'm going here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, guys, you won't believe this. A couple of days ago, um, the BBC Radio Oxford found one of my videos on YouTube and, um, there was only one view. I posted this um, repost, you know, this is one of the videos that we do the paint along right now. And they said, what a good idea. Um, would you like to come and talk about this? And then, you know, other people might find it beneficial to join me. I'm like, okay. So I'm going on. Um, Hi, Margaret. You're watching separately today. Hi, <laughs> Margaret. Welcome to my paint along. <laughs> So um, I think it's about four o'clock or something today. They'll ring me and we'll talk about it. I'm just keep looking at the picture because I haven't done this before. So I need a picture reference today. Okay. And then the background of the painting, you don't have to be too specific or um, too tight in your painting. Okay, so I'm going to go in here now and paint. I might dip in a bit more purple now. Give a bit of variation. Again, I'm not going to touch my paint, um, the previous petals that I've done, okay? Okay, and um, actually forget-me-not clusters are quite random. They're not always like, like a round ball as such. So um, it's quite hard to, to picture it actually. Or trying to, um, the best is to look at the picture and paint as you go. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there for the time being. And I'm going to come in with my green. Um, actually, the stem is quite dark. So I'm going to go for dark green. Got a bouncy palette today, guys. Thank you, Julia. I think it's um, BBC Radio Oxford, so I don't know. Um, and they said it depends on um, the government briefing. So, you know, I can't compete with that. They're going to have me in after that. So I don't really know what time or anything. But it's funny how, like, you know, it's funny. <laughs> Okay, maybe this color. Let's test it first. Yeah, I like it. Right, so 
that one so you need a bit more water my pa my paper is very dry and it's got heavy texture just add like random um, stems to to your flower like that okay and then I'm gonna go because it's a bit wishy-washy I'm gonna definitely make the stem darker okay by adding what counteract with green I would say red or orange in this case I don't want brown so I'm gonna go for orange okay but I got too excited there again but don't worry the beauty of um, watercolor is it you can lift it back up okay and I'm just gonna go in ever so gently not like that top bit where I'm absolutely heavy-handed but um, you know what it's for fun okay guys it's all about learning nothing to be stressed about you can always lift it out um, with a little bit of q-tip as American would say because that's their brand, isn't it? Okay. And then if you lift it way too much, you can go back in. See? So no stress. And if you've done something completely boo-boo out of it, just scrunch that up and do it again, okay? Put in the bin, guys. Okay. And um, I'm going to paint another lot of p flowers. So I'm, I'm more confident now. I'm definitely going to go in a bit faster. You guys do whatever you want. Okay. So I'm going to be a bit loose now. Because I'm a loose woman. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm just switching between lighter blue and darker purple just to give it a bit of and feel free you can even switch a little bit of pink into it as well honestly it's cute absolutely cute um, shame I haven't got any seeds has anyone got seeds for forget me not please send me I'd love it and then I'm gonna move into green again okay and add more stems to this this one just adding slightly you know like yesterday when we do abstract flower just add a bit of stems here and there between the gaps so then it shows you that these flowers not just floating about and I'm just going in with a bit of brown again see well brown I mean orange orangey green okay and um, leaf okay and um, really today when I'm done with this I'm going to fill up the whole page I'd say um, I'm not a minimalist person <laughs> so um, whatever float your boat if you like minimalist go minimalist if you like if you want to give it a plant pot give it a plant pot um, at some point I'm gonna be doing painting a vase and we can put cut flowers in it we're gonna do it together um, and we're going to do um, plant pots as well so um, we can put all the flowers that we paint into the pot and grow them this quarantine. <laughs> Imaginary, okay? We paint together, but separately, okay, guys? <laughs> all right. Um, I'm just thinking, where else can I come with? I'm just going to come here. I quite like triangle. It's like a zen, um, zen way of art. Triangle's always good. It's a very strong shape, geometry shape, actually, guys. It can make curves um, when you join them together. Um, 
One time I'm going to have to talk about triangles. I'm obsessed with triangle shapes. I've done quite a few art with triangles. Um, and they were exhibited actually um, in New York. I was so, it's so random, um, so lucky. I got invited to, to the exhibition, but obviously I can't afford to go to the exhibition. <laughs> Help! <laughs> so I didn't go. And um, none of my paint was sold, obviously. Um, so um, they were sent back. And then it went to um, be exhibited. Um, again, somewhere else in America. Woo! Check me out. <laughs> in a folder. <laughs> Not even on the wall, guys. Um, the first one was on the wall, and then the second one was in the folder, just in case, kind of, you know, one of those that they have art in the folder. Um, if you want to ram it through and you might like something in the folder and buy them. Yeah, that that's me. <laughs> Well, I got a tickle out of it. I think that's a bit too um too rounded. But you know what? Again, it's the process that count, okay? Process. A room wasn't built in one day, right? This is like a little bud maybe. It's about to turn into something extraordinary like you guys I'm gonna do another butt there okay and it's way too green isn't it so if you look at the picture of um, forget-me-nots um, the stems are usually dark darker okay voila and don't forget the center. The center's got like this beautiful, um, actually it's really highly in details and I'm not gonna do highly in details one unless I do a bigger flower, okay? You have to be this big. And then the center of the flower is almost like a little stars like this, look, in yellow, that bit's in yellow. Okay, so abstract, look from far away, it's going to look like yellow dots, right? And it's like absolutely delicate yellow, like little light yellow. So I'm going to go for lemony yellow. Okay, guys, lemony. Make sure your brush is nice and clean, clean because um, I was just painting green earlier and it's got strong staining power. And then you just gently drop yellow into the middle of the flower and um, it's okay to leave a little bit of um, gap unpainted white into the middle as well because that's you know they've got a hole in the middle so ideally look at the picture of the real things and see how you can translate it into um, painting okay so this is it um our forget me nots for the day so cute so you know you can try to fill the whole lot up with your um p fill the page up if you like okay okay let's go back to what we painted earlier well i'm gonna leave that aside to dry oh and if you like to um flick flick Remember how to flick it? I'm not going to flick on this one yet because I'm not done. But the flicking is just use a the most rubbish brush that you have ever that's been bitten into pieces or been, um, you know, you've been abusing it for so long. Or you can use something that's got lots of holding water power, okay, but you get different flicking technique. I'm going to show you how to flick on here. I'm going to make like a brownie. You can use tea or coffee. It's really absolutely beautiful with tea and coffee. Maybe tomorrow I'll make sure that I've got black tea, obviously not tea with milk. Ugh. Okay. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll make sure I've got black tea or coffee here so I can show you. And then all you do is just flick and point. Okay. So the runnier, you know, try and practice first. Don't just go straight into your work. Okay. Just like that. Just give you an extra... 
um, kind of dimension to it and you can throw them as well okay and I'm like oops I just ba basically made the boo-boo of my paint don't worry just go in with a piece of tissue or kitchen towels and blot them off on certain areas and remember that you need to make sure your project is nice and dry before you go into flicking okay and then there's another technique this one is a bit um, more wet but all you need to do is just tap okay but you need like uh, something that's got holding power of lots of water on the top here so have fun and um, have a bit of a dirty finger <laughs> okay right hi Ashley hi Jess hi Heather hi Sheila okay let's go back to our um, wings that we've done earlier and I think it's nice and dry now still slightly damp but that is fine okay the body of the dragonfly we have done a bit of drawing before now I'll do a quick recap in case you missed it okay so the body of the dragonfly hi Vicky I'm gonna tell you you join I'd say it's three sections okay so the long big fat body like mine and then long tail the tail section is remember is as long as the wingspan okay but you know we're not doing like a um, botanical biologist drawing but it's quite nice to get that idea in because then you get a more believable dragonfly okay and then um, you have a huge bulging eye and then a mouth like so okay and realistically it's got a little leg here cute and another leg here okay and then another leg here but we're not gonna see the bottom legs and then the wings are coming out from the back okay so go like so I'm just gonna do it quickly now like that okay so we're gonna do the body right but because the wing is above the body we're gonna have to do a bit of clever um, painting around the wings and um, basically um, we're gonna go easy now around here and if you are not sure feel free to draw it in I'm gonna draw it in here just to show you where it goes okay because that's the back of the body if you call that body it's probably not <laughs> Okay, right. So the first section, the main section of the dragonfly, and then long tail. Okay, so just imagine that's as long as the wingspan really. And that might I might do it a bit bigger body. And then eyes, bulging eyes, and there. Okay? But um that's way too dark for my liking, so I'm gonna have to rub it off. And um, just leave a little bit of faint um, pattern to it okay what I do is I'm just gently bounce the eraser on top of my drawing so then it's still got I'll show you what I mean okay see you can see that little faint really really faint <laughs> um, patterns that you drawn earlier okay and there's no um rules today whatever color goes okay i'm going for green so just go wishy-washy again because then you can add shading okay later if you want to all right and then the body here and then eyes and then round it off here at the front okay like so and then I'm gonna add mm, darker blue maybe um, this one
I have my paint um, set up so that it's according to the color wheels and then I can mix opposite colors to get lovely grays. Um, I am still in the middle of mixing. Um, it's like a part of my daily exercise to become a Jedi. Okay, testing. So strong, so I'm gonna make it weak. A bit better, a bit more water. Yay! Okay, while the paint's still wet, I'm going to drop my darker blue green. Cute! Okay. And we leave that to dry. And then I'm going back to this body. What color body shall I do for that one? Purple. I'm going for purple. Oh, let's draw this first as well. I don't want to mess it up. But if you're confident, go for it, team. And long tail. Big bulgy eyes. And round it off. Okay, that's way too dark. So take them off by pouncing at it. <laughs> I don't know how else you can do it. Maybe just gently rub it. Yeah, but it's more exciting like this. <laughs> so <sighs> okay, you can see the mark still, right? Let's go. Purple. Don't forget to test because we don't want super dark color on our project today. Always test testing for any um, project that you do. Always test on a scrap piece of paper. Okay? Actually, you can probably do this as well. On this one. I'm going to do this. And round off on the top is their mouth. And long tail. I might do this body a bit more rounded here. And then you can drop the color in. Okay, how does it look on camera? Okay, slightly wonky, but you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm wonky. I'm gonna drop a bit of darker color there. Boom, 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 boom. Or you can do pink pink um, details okay so that's our dra um, dragonfly I think it's quite relaxing you can even add that into your wreath that we've done or add that to your floral painting um, you know I think it's cute um, I'll show you you can have it flying all over the place just ignore that one <laughs> um, I quite like the minimalistic um, effect without any details but I think they might benefit from the front flick of the um, the front pair of legs if you like just very gently but if you like the details type of thing you can easily use um, this is way too dark and way too big for it you need something that um, very very faint and a very fine details pens or brush and have a go but I would, would recommend to go bigger wings um, a bigger size so that you can add more details to it because the dragonfly wings are very um, highly in details on the veins okay go and look at the real things and um, you will see that it's quite um, in details if you have like a super size zero 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 brush or whatever this is the smallest brush that I have right now oh no not true Let's have a look in my other brush box um, because I have them for my super shoes detail painting. I'm bound to have something small here. Let's have a look. These are my super shoes painting brushes. They're tiny, tiny ones. Hold on. Yeah, I found. No, this is the one. This is size 20. It's even smaller than zero, whatever that is. Okay. Um, this one I'm gonna go for purple details. Obviously, don't go immediately onto your project, right? Test them and have a feel and get used to the 
to the feel of them first, okay? Just gonna flick. Actually, this brush is terrible for watercolor. <laughs> Um, it's fantastic for acrylic. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. And um, have a lovely Sunday afternoon. Um, if you see any flowers while you go for a walk or in the garden, take some pictures and send to me. Um, so, you have done really well today. Well, we have done very well today. We forget about the world for just under an hour maybe and we created forget me not and two dragonflies well I created two so um, I'm gonna post the pictures of my work on my wall and please put yours into the thread and it would always be fun to see um, you know your effort really it means a lot to me um, the charity chosen today is a <laughs> the charity chosen today is Homeless Oxford because I'm passionate about um, this charity and um, sometimes I help them out. So um, guys, I'll see you later. Look, the sun's shining. I'm so happy. Um, today I am going to tidy up my shed. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Wish me luck. Um, so, and oh, fashion tip, turtleneck guy. As soon as you get out of quarantine, get yourself a turtleneck. This one just from Sainsbury, but you know, um, it's a key signature piece for anyone because it's flattering. Basically, it gives you the contour of your face. You're welcome. Bye. How do I end this? Oh yeah, finish. Bye. <laughs>